<clears throat> hey you guys, I'm going to give you a little straight to the point review of um, Empire Season 2, Episode 2. So Empire Season 2, Episode 2 begins with Hakeem, Andre, and Cookie discussing um, their their plans. How they're going to start their own record company and where the studio is actually going to be at. And Andre, during the conversation, is saying to Hakeem, is asking Hakeem, you know, are you sure that mom will be okay for, with um, Anika being there? Hakeem was like, yeah, yeah, she'll be okay. You know, I told Anika that Cookie's good with it, but, she, but you know, he lied. So, you know, Hakeem being Hakeem. So, um, pretty much, Lucius is um, kneeing his pills. You can see that he's in dire straits. He's um, pretty fucked up, and he's really kind of going in and out. He um, even threatened his physician, his doctor, to the point where the doctor has to sort of threaten that he was going to press the bunch to get out of the security on him, which Lucius, like, apologized, saying that he just needs his meds. And the doctor keeps saying to him, you don't have the authorized papers like you did last time. I would suggest you have a lawyer look over it. So after that, you have um, Jamal saying his song, Born to Love. I believe that's what it's called, and it was a really beautiful song. And after that song, you have... Um, him being interviewed by a really a beautiful lady, forgot her name. So I think the name of the TV show of that you know was Spilled Tea or something. So she's asking Jamal on uh, what's the next album coming out and how's it feel to have both men and women love you. He was like, Yeah, it's fine, you know, he loves everyone, la di da. And he pretty much says that he's been busy, so he hasn't been able to have that much time to finish his second album. And, you know, that he, but he'll he'll eventually finish it, obviously. And before they they give me more details about what's going on his his um, new projects, Cookie comes in, like usual, just storms in, and her and Jamal have a conversation. She tries to convince Small um, Jamal to give to let Hakeem have his album back, saying that he already won. He's the new uh, he already got the Empire, uh, la di da. Which she kind of sort of plants. She kind of does. Yet at the time she kind of doesn't. But you can tell that she sort of planted the seed. So, when he walks to the elevator, she says to him, oh yeah, by the way, like a bitch slap, me, Hakeem, and Andre's going to comp- make our own company. So, <clears throat> you know, there was a break after that, and then when you see Andre and Hakeem and Cookie outside Ghetto Ass Studios, Hakeem's reaction is like, sort of like, Damn, really? But he's not really, you know, as disturbed about it as Andre. Andre's like, what the fuck is this? This is just straight ghetto trash. And Cookie is like, you know, it doesn't matter, you know? You know, it doesn't matter, you know, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, you make your name pretty much. So she's saying that, you know, Lucius turned her money into, like, a fucking global company. And she was saying now, now it's her time. It's her time to make her own shit. So um, they go into the ghetto studio you see V, she's singing. Her and Ali, Nika's not getting along. And Cook is able to quell it and sort of just brushes off Anika and goes uh, with with V. So after that, you have Lucia, um, I'm sorry, Ludacris' character, who's just been a total dick to Lucius, actually, for I don't know why. You know, possibly because of Roxanne Ford. But <clears throat> seeing after that, Lucius even asked him, yo, what's your problem with me, dude? And, you know, Lucas like, you know, you give guys like us a bad name, like la di da all that shit. You know, he even mocked the wheezing Darth Vader-like voice that Lucius, you know, had, you know, due to not, him not getting his medication, you know. And that was, you know, Lucas was like, you know, maybe if you be, be, be a little bit more cooperative, maybe Roxanne will give you pills back, pretty much what he was saying. So, <clears throat> eventually that got all settled away when Thirsty, who got his degree from Grom, just remember, Grom may not be Harvard in terms of prestige, but same fucking courses, just different books. But, yeah, he was able to have his boys beat the shit out of Lou Chris's character um, and gain some incriminating photos on the judge, who apparently likes getting spanked, likes getting dominated, like that sadist Stewie Griffin-like shit. And, have, and like having balls in his mouth, you know, and obviously the judge wouldn't want anyone to really know that, you know, and he was able to let Lucius free pretty much, too much to Roxanne Ford, 
Roxanne Ford's shock. So, the devil's free from hell again, a.k.a. Lucius. So, another thing that happened, noticeable things in this episode, Hakeem was able to create his own girl group instead of him having, his original intention was to have one black chick, one white chick, one Hispanic chick, but now, but there's going to be two, at least two Hispanic chicks in the group. What else? Cookie pretty much told Anika that it wasn't for girls like her. Girls like Anika would be pretty much on their knees, especially on the knees of 20 rolls like her son, Hakeem, which led Anika to leave the room. Um, but yeah, and also Hakeem slept with his lead singer in a jacuzzi. What? That lucky son of a bitch. You know, but besides that, that's pretty much all that happened um, in episode two. I have the review for episode three in a little bit, so keep tight. Thanks for watching the video.